Hi, I'm Karen Johnson, and today I'm going to review the Fawns and Porter Flying Geese Ruler. You can make flying geese like this with no math, and this ruler will make uh, finish sizes from um, one inch high to four inches high, or um, as wide as eight inches. So let's name these parts. This is a flying geese unit, and this is the goose, and this is the sky. With this ruler, you're going to use this side in the black lines to cut the goose, and we're going to use this side to cut the sky. Determine what size uh, finished flying geese block you want. Look at the ruler, and it will tell you how wide to cut your strips. So we've cut our strips to three inches because that's what it told us to do. Then you just take the ruler, lay it on top, and make sure that that little tip is cut off. Cut as many as you're going to need for flying geese. This again is going to be this, the goose that's in the center, and we're going to make one. Same thing goes cutting the sky blocks. Go to the yellow lines, look for the size block you're making. It tells you what size strip to make. Cut your strips. And in this case, we're going to make two, so we fold it in half so they'll end up uh, mirror images of each other. Make sure that the tip is extended and cut your strip. Cut your your skies. And you end up with three pieces that look like this. Notice you've got a cut off piece here and here and here and that's going to make all the pieces go together much more easily. Notice when I stitch the first side down with the right sides together the top is already aligned and I already lined down here so there's no guessing as to where to place that triangle. If you've ever done other methods where the tips are on there you're not quite sure where exactly to align it. Same thing goes when you sew the other side on. Again, it's aligned in both places, and you don't have to think about where exactly to place your triangle. And there it is, perfectly aligned on top. Everything lines up. You've got a perfect flying geese unit.